G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. I must admit, up until a couple of weeks ago, I've never heard of this recipe because it's not very big here in Australia. But it's a request that I had on Facebook, so I checked it out and it's actually very delicious. So join me today as I make my version of jerk chicken. Now to start off with, we're going to make our delicious jerk marinade. So for this, I'm going to use a food processor. So first thing into our food processor, I'm going to place in six chopped green onions, then about four cloves of minced garlic, then some fresh ginger that I've peeled and just roughly chopped up, just make it easier to blend. Half a lime, a quarter cup of soya sauce, one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, a teaspoon of black pepper. Now you can add salt if you like, but honestly there's enough salt in the soy sauce, but if it's a low sodium soy sauce, add a bit of salt as well. Next a tablespoon of thyme, a teaspoon of allspice, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and finally half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And finally we're going to process this up until we get to a nice paste consistency. Okay, so next I've got a Ziploc bag. So I'm using the breast part like so. Five, six, but you can do more if you like. You can do two pieces or you can do ten pieces. It's really up to you. So just pour our marinade into our bag. And just simply seal it up. And then once sealed up, just give it a good mix around. Just so all of our chicken is completely coated and our delicious jerk marinade. And that's it, that's all the preparation you need. Now I'd place it in the fridge for at least 24 hours to give it a chance for that marinade to work its way into the chicken. Minimum four hours, but I highly recommend 24 hours. I've noticed the difference because I've tried both ways. Now I've had our chicken marinating for over 24 hours now. So we're just going to simply take it out of the bag and I've got a baking tray here lined with non-stick parchment paper and we're just going to place our chicken pieces skin side up just spread out on our baking tray that's another thing I like about this recipe it's all prepared the day before so all we have to do now is just place it in the oven okay so it's going in at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes I'll tell you what, this smells absolutely delicious. So one last thing, as I never mess with chicken, I always want to make sure it's cooked properly, so I always use an instant re thermometer. So ideally we want chicken above 74 degrees Celsius or 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's at 76 degrees Celsius, so it's perfectly cooked. It's not overdone, it's going to be nice and juicy. And there we have our delicious jerk chicken. Such a simple recipe to make, but it's jam-packed full of flavor. So this is my take on a traditional Jamaican recipe that I guarantee you're going to love. So this truly is a perfect dinner recipe for any time of the week. If you love chicken, I guarantee you're going to love this recipe. Now you can choose any side that you like, or you can have it by itself. It's very versatile, very simple, but the best thing is, it tastes simply delish. Delish.